protests against police brutality continued overnight in Newark and across the state as family and friends of George Floyd gather in Houston to attend his funeral. This as the Attorney General's office released footage of a fatal roadside encounter that took place Memorial Day weekend between a New Jersey State Trooper and an unarmed black male, Maurice Gordon. There's no immediate suggestion the death was motivated by racial bias, but the investigation by the Attorney General's office and judicial system is being closely watched during this national uprising against police lethal use of force. Correspondent Michael Hill reports. Social justice advocates are calling for a transparent investigation of a New Jersey State Trooper shooting and killing 28-year-old Maurice Gordon of New York two days before the Memorial Day killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. You went by me at 110 miles an hour. The newly released tape show, The Encounter is on the southbound side of the Garden State Parkway near exit 50 in Bass River, where Gordon steered his apparently disabled Honda to the left shoulder. The dash camera shows Sergeant Randall Wetzel encouraging Gordon to get in his trooper vehicle. You want to sit in my car? Yeah. Okay, with the bugs and all that, come my way. This way, this way, this way, this way. This way. No, 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 no. You got all your stuff. I don't want you on that side. I don't want the car. No, no, no. Walk this way. This way. Put your stuff up here. I got to fat you now. Put your stuff up here. Gordon sits in the back seat. You want to go to Atlantic City? Uh, huh? Do you want me to drive you toward Atlantic City? The reason you're in my car is because you, you keep jumping out. We're in a real bad spot. We're on the side of the highway here. I, if you look behind us, there's cars everywhere. You know what I mean? I don't want you getting hit. And I kept on telling you, don't get out of the car, and you keep popping out of the car. I still don't know why you were speeding. Why were you going that fast? Were you just in a hurry to get to Atlantic City? The tapes clearly show the sergeant calling for a tow truck. He asks Gordon where does he want the car towed and whether Gordon can pay for it. The trooper also offers Gordon a face mask. The trooper is standing behind his own car when Gordon decides he wants to get out. You can see the two scuffle for a minute and a half. Then the trooper shoots Gordon six times. Look up, shot fun! Look up, shot fun! Gordon falls to the ground. The trooper handcuffs him. This is what he says when backup arrives. He was in my car. Okay. Once you give him the mask, he tried getting out of my car. We got in a fight on the side of the road. Okay. I, he tried running into my car. Okay. I got him out, sprayed him. We got in a fight again. He ran away from me, tried to hop my troop car, grabbed my gun. Okay. We were fighting with my gun, and I shot him. He's already cuffed. He's already cuffed? Yeah, he's cuffed okay. and down. What led to the fatal shots being fired and Gordon's death are now being investigated. Gordon's family has hired attorney William Wagstaff. They have an officer who used deadly force on an unarmed man when he could have allowed this man to exit the vehicle. He could have done several things to try to de-escalate the situation instead of escalating the situation by immediately engaging in physical force. Can you say anything about Maurice's state of mind, his physical condition? Was he under the influence of anything? What was going on? He was not under the influence of any drugs or alcohol. Maurice Gordon did not use drugs and he did not take, drink any alcohol. So that certainly wasn't it. The state troopers fraternal association's president blames Gordon for the fatal end of the encounter. The behavior of Mr. Gordon was erratic, um, you know, and, and Sergeant Wetzel has responsibilities and obligations as a law enforcement officer out on the road there to keep you know, not only himself safe, but more importantly, Mr. Gordon and the motoring public safe. Civil rights advocates call the killing troubling. All sides are calling for a fair investigation as they await results of Gordon's autopsy. Michael Hill, NJTV News.